Hi everyone! This video will be on graphing systems of linear inequalities. Now to really understand this, let's think back to systems of equations. You have a system of equations, more than one equation, right here. So let's go ahead and graph, it, graph them and then we'll look at it. So we have y equals 1 third x plus 1. y intercept at 1, our slope is 1 third, so up 1 over 3, up 1 over 3, and in the opposite direction. Now graphing the second equation, y equals 2x minus 4, our y-intercept's at negative 4, and our slope is 2, so up 2 over 1. Okay. Now if you remember, the solution to a system of equations was the point where the lines crossed. So in this case, the solution would be the point 3, 2, because they cross at the point 3, 2. Inequalities, if you remember when we graph them, we have that extra step where you have to shade them. So just like equations where the solution is where the lines cross, in, in a system of inequalities, the solution is going to be where the shading crosses. Let's take a look at an example. Now here, we have a system of linear inequalities. Notice the inequality signs. So that means that when we graph them, we're going to have to do that extra step of shading. So let's go ahead and we're going to graph both of these inequalities on the same graph. So graphing the first one, y is less than or equal to 1 third x plus 1 y-intercept at 1, slope at 1 third. So we're just graphing the points like normal, which is our first step when we graph an inequality. Looking at the inequality sign, it's less than or equal to, which means that our line is going to be solid. And lastly, we have to do the shading step. So using my favorite point, the origin, 0, 0, let's test and figure out where we're going to shade. So since we're working on the first inequality, we're going to plug 0 in for x and 0 in for y. So we have 0 is less than or equal to 1 third times 0 plus 1. So 0 is less than or equal to 1. That is a true statement, therefore 0, 0 is a solution to our inequality. So I'm going to go ahead and shade the region of the graph that includes the 0, 0. So everything that I'm shading are solutions to this first inequality. Which again means that if I picked any point in the shaded region, it would have come out true. If I picked any point outside of the shaded region, it would have given me a false statement. Now, on our same exact coordinate plane, we're going to graph this second inequality. y is less than or equal to 2x minus 4. So our first step of graphing the points like usual, we're going to have our y-intercept at negative 4. Our slope is 2, so up 2 over 1. Up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. And so on. And we know this is going to be a solid line again because of the inequality sign. It's less than or equal to. So we graph our line. If this was just the system of equations, our solution would be the point 3, 2. But now because we're adding in that shading component, our solution is going to be where the shading crosses. So our next step is to, again, test my favorite point, the origin. And we're going to plug in 0 for x and y in our second inequality. So 0 
is less than or equal to 2 times 0 minus 4. 0 is less than or equal to negative 4. This is a false statement. So looking at our line, we're going to shade the region that does not include the 0, 0. Because 0, 0 was not a solution to this second inequality. So we're shading the region without the 0, 0. Now you can see already the region where the shading crosses. What this means is that any point in this double shaded region, the region where the shading overlaps, is a solution to our system of inequalities. So that means that any point from this green region here that you plug in to the top inequality and to the bottom inequality, it will come out true for both. If you plugged in a point just from this blue region, if you remember that shading was from only the first inequality. So if you plugged in any point from the blue region into the first inequality, it's going to be true. But this was not part of the shaded region for the second inequality, so it would be false for the second one. Same thing with the yellow region. The yellow region would be true for the second inequality, because that was part of our shading there, but it would be false for the first inequality, because that was not part of our shading for the first one. And the white region here would come out false for both inequalities. So the only region that's true for both, our solution, is this double shaded region. Alright, good job!